I woke up and just felt right Phone blown like a tailpipe Today's schedule airtight I turn a short day into a long night See you soon if you what is up guys, it is Alex here and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to have less lag on an Android device. I'm not making a video for iOS or Apple because there's not really a lot of lag on those type of devices, but on Android this happens a lot. So if you guys are new to my channel, I'm pretty much based off of body on Madden Mobile, which you guys could see from my other videos. So that's what this is going to be targeted to. But how to have less lag and how to have less RAM usage. First thing you want to figure out is how many apps do you have that you don't use. Like right here, I have a folder of apps I don't use ever. Resolution Changer, Game Watch, now you get the point. And they they take up space on the phone, they make it a lot more laggy over time. And what a lot of people also mistake is these processor booster apps. They don't benefit anything. I've tried this on four Android devices, nothing benefited at all. So, on this phone, all I use is Madden Mobile and Higher Macro. So, the best thing to do, pretty much, if you don't want to reset your phone completely, you just uninstall them on Application Manager. You go here, uninstall, OK. Right? And then you, it takes a little bit, but that was a small app, so it was kind of fast. But now, for the Madden part of my channel, if you guys have time like five minutes during the day like let's say you get home from school and you have to go to a party in 15 minutes and you're already changing everything you got nothing to do this is something that you should probably do so you want to go to your two apps that you're using in botting so that would be higher macro and mad mobile so you go to higher macro you'd press clear data and then okay you'd clear the data and then be just about this size and then you go to mad mobile clear data same thing as higher macro all right it will not delete your scripts or your account, I promise, all right? But if you do reset the phone, your scripts will be deleted, but not your account. So make sure you back that up. Then what you want to do is you want to go to storage, scroll down to cache data, and then just delete it all. How you know when it's all gone is when the cache data, the cache data area, like right, that was, gonna, that was here, it'd be gone. So once that's gone, you just want to restart your phone. You guys could see... I don't know if you saw from the beginning of my video, but it is a lot less laggy now. And that's not even without restarting. With restarting it, it'll pretty much guarantee that all that cache data is gone. And those un those uninstalled apps are completely gone. And your phone will be perfectly going. One thing that you guys do not want to do, though, is record on your computer. Unless you're doing a YouTube video like this, perhaps. What this recording does, it makes it extremely laggy, like you guys could see as I'm scrolling, how it doesn't look completely smooth. If this, was, if this wasn't Bluetooth to my computer, it would be perfect. And the last thing that would cause your device to lag is your battery percentage. If your battery percentage is under 10% in the red bar, it's going to go into some type of power saving mode and it won't be as fast. So you want to have your phone on the charger. But what happens with me, which I don't know why, it sounds kind of weird, but when my phone's at 100% and on the charger, it seems to get a lot more laggy over time. But that that's just with me. You guys could try it on your phone and test that. But actually, I have one more tip. A cooler fan. I could put a link in the description. You guys will see it. It'll be an Amazon link. If your device is really hot while it's botting, it's going to lag extremely hard. That and cache data building up is pretty much suicide for your device. So that's all the things that are going to make your device lag, um, make it hot. The cooling fan, it's about 20 bucks. It's well worth the money. Um, so pretty much that's it, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching once again. Leave a like if this helped you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.